We're out here on Vancouver Island in preseason with Pacific FC, joined by head coach James Merriman. James, you guys are back at it uh, for another year. It's got to be exciting just to be, you know, back out on the pitch, seeing the guys uh, come back into training and, and get ready for a new season. Absolutely. I mean, it's it's a long off season. We know this in the Canadian Premier League. It's a long break for our players. Uh, it's been a good energy. The guys are excited to get back to work. Yeah. Speaking of like the energy coming in from the guys that are returning from last season. Are you seeing kind of a hunger to get back at it? Just knowing that you know, obviously it didn't end, the season didn't end necessarily the way you wanted it to. Is there that yeah. hunger to come in and, and you know start with a clean slate? For sure, for sure. I mean, I think I think we we, we all know um, the first half of the season where we were and, and towards the end of the season where we went, but then we, we actually had some fight in, in the playoffs, which you know finished the season with a with a mixed feeling for the group. Because um, at the end of the day, we were still one game away from getting to that to that final. And you know, ultimately, the goal for us this season and and for our group, everybody speaks about it and knows we want to get into Concacaf. And you know, that lights a, a fire and that intrinsic motivation for the group to be there next season, 100%, absolutely. And uh, you also see guys like Adonijah Reed, Stefan Yates. Coming into their second season, and straight straight away from the first session, you can see them. They're more comfortable, but also showing more of their their quality and, and with their confidence and leadership in the group. So we feel good about the group, and uh, we're we're looking forward to the new season. Heading into this this 2024 season, you know, looking at the the group you have, because there's no I mean there's no hiding that some of the guys you did lean on last year, you know, Manu Amir, are not here yeah. anymore. Um, but how confident are you in the group that you have brought back, the guys you brought in to to fill some of these holes that you know you can be the same team, you can have the same identity. It's about our young central midfielders, Stefan Yates, Sean Young, Pierre Lamoth, Zach Bahus. These guys need to step up, and and they're more than capable. They have the qualities to fill that role. Uh, that Manu's left and I think TMG kind of goes under the radar a little bit. Um, he's very, very consistent. He's he's there for us with his mentality match after match and he makes players better. He was there with Lucas, he was there with Amir. You know, if we have a young player that we believe is ready to play more minutes and take a bigger role, we need to make sure that that's available. So it's there for Paul. Is there for all those central midfielders that I mentioned? Now that's up to them to to take. Just to wrap us up here, year six of Pacific FC. What's kind of a, a core message from you that you would give not only to the players but to the fans, to this community on Vancouver Island, uh, just about what to expect from this club this year? What to expect from the club? It's the same as last season. Is we want to try and get into that one and two, uh, and then ultimately we want to get into Concacaf. We want to get back into Concacaf, and we speak about that with the group and with the players. And that's our that's our number one goal. That's our number one focus to be in these games. James, thank you so much. Okay, appreciate it. Uh, obviously, Pacific going into their sixth season in the CPL, looking for you know another breakthrough. Absolutely.